What's it, Cam Squad? It's your boy Cam Mac, and I'm back with another video. So today, I am in the game room, and right now I am about to react to. Um, if you did not see this, you wouldn't believe it. And it's about an 11 minute video, and I'ma just try to get through as much as I can before I stop the reaction. And don't forget to go like, comment, subscribe, put your post notification bell on. And I'm about to be, I'm about to start, I'm about to start dropping reactions like, like a lot, like a lot, lot. I'm just be dropping reactions, man. And just, you feel me? Hopefully the channel grow and let's get it. I'm gonna start the video right now. Hello, everyone. Imagine that a friend tells you a completely incredible story. You probably okay. think that he made it up from the beginning to the end. You yeah. wouldn't believe him, but where's the proof? Oh. Fortunately, today even the most amazing moments are caught on camera. Thanks to smartphones with good cameras and other portable equipment. And that's exactly <laughs> what we're going to see hey, yeah. today. These yeah. are the most amazing moments filmed on camera. If it weren't for the video, you wouldn't believe it's true. Let's get it on. I wonder if we don't have one what would the apocalypse look like? Could it be the classic Four Horsemen? A technological disaster? A natural catastrophe? Could it be caused by meteorites? Or maybe an No lie, if we had an apocalypse, I would probably fucking panic. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Cause like, you feel me? Like, that'd just be crazy. Like, I'd just be like, dang, like, I gotta fight for my life now. <laughs> Invasion of ducks? Drivers in China ran into an army of brown ducks walking along a busy road. The traffic in China's coastal city of Taizhou was paralyzed because 70 year old farmer Hong Min Shun went for a walk with 5,000 ducks. 5,000. The farmer claims that regular exercise, for example, a long walk That's to the long. nearest yes. lake, is necessary for the ducks to feel good. The drivers patiently waited until the birds reached their destination. By the way, Hong regularly walks with his ducks across the streets and very rarely loses one on the way. His pets are surprisingly disciplined, not afraid of people. Bro, I didn't even peep that. So these is his pets. What did they say? 5,000? They say he got like 5,000 ducks and people wait every time they walk across the street. Like people wait. I would never wait. I would run their ass over in 0.5 seconds and then go on about my day. But anyways, back to the video. People or cars and do not run away. Many people don't trust new technologies. What if there actually is a rise of the machines? It seems that our closest relatives, monkeys, don't trust technology either. In the Dutch town of Arnhem, the zoo administration launched a drone to film the lives of the animals. While elephants, tigers, and Himalayan bears reacted to the appearance of the drone with caution, the chimpanzees decided to launch an offensive immediately. Tushi, a 23-year-old female chimp, quickly mastered the art of air defense and cleverly brought down the drone. And she did it Lucky using a stick. They said, they said... They said that the human switch cost about two thousand dollars cannot be you restored, that? but oh, the yeah. camera turned out to be stronger and did not suffer from the fall. It kept working and even caught the monkeys coming down from a tree to inspect their enemy. When the animals got bored with their new toy, the caretakers took it and the footage was posted on YouTube. According to statistics, about 350 head, people die every year in avalanches, despite the fact that avalanches don't happen that often. In other words, a mountain of snow... My fault, I was talking there when he was talking, but he said nearly 350 people die from avalanches a year. That's crazy. Coming at you at great speed usually means death. But Eric Hjolifeson is a lucky guy. This professional Canadian free skier was doing his favorite thing, enjoying the great weather, when something unexpected happened. Eric's movements disturbed the huge, heavy masses of snow. Suddenly, the skier found himself in the middle of a roaring avalanche. His oh camera God, caught the bro. details, but because of the snow, it's absolutely impossible to understand anything. Mm. But be sure that skiing through an avalanche is Bro basically was damn near getting buried alive, bro In some cold snow Like, bro, how would you feel, bro? Like, I'd be, like I'd panic Because, like, I'm claustrophobic And that's not even the point But, like, at the same time Like, imagine just being Clogged up in front of And all that snow 
Not an activity you'd recommend to your friends. However, Eric was really lucky. The avalanche did not swallow him and left him almost unharmed. The skier only hurt his knee a little, but the fear was real, and we can't judge him for being scared. Yeah, I'm okay. Tweak my knee a bit. Who says that? Well, that was the end of this video. It was a quick three minute video. Uh, I'm gonna react to another video in a little bit. Or I might react to part two and like right after this. Don't forget to go like, comment, subscribe, put your post notification bell on, be dropping reactions back to back to back. This is gonna be we're gonna be watching, we're gonna be binging, you feel me? If y'all bored, man, just watch just watch the channel, subscribe to the channel, you feel me? And we just gonna see if we can stay entertained during quarantine. And I'm gonna be dropping bangers. I'm gonna be dropping bangers, man. So don't you feel me? Don't sleep. Like, comment, subscribe, put your post notification bell on. Came out squad out. Peace.